So you've tried building a web application using Angular before, and you quickly realized that it takes a lot more than client-side code to build out a robust web application. First off, you're going to need to build an API, and that in itself requires a database. And you're probably going to want to harness the power of WebSockets to provide real-time data to your web app. And of course, you're going to need authentication, and that's going to have to be securely implemented on the server side using some type of server-side language. And all this is going to have to be hosted on a server somewhere. And before you know it, you have all this work cut out for you before you can write any Angular. Unless you're using Firebase. My name is David East, and in this course, I'm going to be teaching you all about the magic that is Firebase. Firebase is a real-time RESTful API that's hosted for you. This all stems from the philosophy of having a backend as a service. So that means that Firebase will create a NoSQL database for you and then host it as well. And on top of that, they'll provide a RESTful API that provides HTTP endpoints for every piece of data in your NoSQL database. And there's also WebSockets integration, so you can have real-time syncing of the data from the client and the server. And the cherry on top of all this is that there's also a built-in authentication provider within Firebase. So that means you can create and store users within your Firebase API. And all of this means is that you don't have to write any server-side code. And if Angular and Firebase didn't already seem like a perfect match for one another, the people at Firebase have created an Angular module that provide for an easy implementation to interact with your Firebase. So this way you don't have to call scope.apply everywhere. So all you have to do is create a Firebase API and you can hit the ground running. So be excited and get ready to learn all about how to build cutting edge web applications with Angular and Firebase.